Today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't chase Bitcoin, Schmitcoin, AI, Schmei, all this crazy shit that's out there in the market and just focus on the thing that you're good at. My name is Michael Barayev and I was able to build a team of 150 plus sales guys in less than two and a half years. Now we have a sales and marketing company that's growing like crazy and we're doing the right thing when it comes to investing. So one of the things that I love to invest in is real estate, okay? Now, a lot of you guys may fucking choke me out and say, Michael, you're crazy. Bitcoin is doing amazing. NFTs are coming back. AI this, AI that. Listen, I respect that. I love that. My question is, this is my question for you. Have you studied it or are you just jumping at the market because Joey Schmoey made 50 grand with Bitcoin last month, right? Are, are you investing into things that you know about or are you investing into things that you just kind of like have a hunch and you have a feeling and you just want to multiply your money and just make money out of nothing? So one thing that I learned is that if you want to make real money from investments, you have to study that investment. Study that vehicle. If you like stocks, do me a favor. Study stocks. The biggest mistake I made, I'll tell you my personal experience, I invested in the, uh, the, the stock market without understanding what it meant to invest in the stock market. And I paid a heavy price for it. So for the past five, six, seven years, guess what I've been studying? Right? Since 2000, I think 2018, 19. Right? We're in 2024. I was just interested in real estate. I was curious about it. Since 2016, 17, I was kind of dabbling, 18, 19, and studying more and more and more courses, products, whatever, and just learning about it. And now we finally came to a place where we're investing into real estate. But it took me a while to do that because I was learning the game while I was building my businesses. So if you're going to just invest in the Bitcoin because it sounds hot, that's not a real investment. That's you speculating. And when you speculate, you can get beat up. Because usually most people speculate and they cross their fingers to make money. You might as well go to the casino in Las Vegas and gamble there. That's the gamble you're taking. So when you want to invest into something, study the game. Study the vehicle. Do you like the vehicle? What are the pros about the vehicle? What are the cons about the vehicle? What can you learn from the vehicle? What are you supposed to do when it comes to investing? Like you got to learn the game. And don't have the shiny object syndrome where you see someone else making money in this Bitcoin shit and you want to jump into Bitcoin. Or you see someone making money in AI you want to jump into that shit. By the way, they're all great investment tools. All are great investment vehicles, in my opinion, if you study the shit. But if you're not studying it and you're playing around with your money, that's not smart. By the way, my opinion, you should not be thinking about investing anything. Anything until you have 100 grand. My opinion. You should be investing in yourself in that process. What do I mean by that? Books, audios, events, podcasts, networking. You know, you take someone out for lunch. Those are the kind of things you want to invest your money in. Before you hit 100K saved up. Why do I say 100K saved up? And I always tell my guys this. It's a discipline. It's the discipline that you can look at money in your bank account and not fucking spend it. And then you can talk about investing into certain things. But by then, I promise you, you're going to be like, you know what? It took me a while to get this 100 grand saved up, whether it's a year, two years, five years, whatever it may be for your situation. Like, damn, bro, I don't want to blow this money away. Because you work, you work your ass off. You know what it took those late nights, early mornings, those, those weekends to get that money saved up. So you're going to be thinking twice to invest that money. So a lot of people, by the way, this is my humble, and this is not, by the way, this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. This is not facts. This is my opinion. You should not be investing into shit that you have nothing, you, you, have no, you have no understanding of. You don't understand it, don't invest in it. There's a lot of things that I don't understand. Guess what? I ain't investing in it. I had a friend of mine call me the other day, oh, I got this investment in Mexico. I got another friend investment in the Dominican Republic, real estate business. If I don't understand it, if I don't invest my time into understanding it and knowing the, the information about it, I am not investing my time, my energy, my money into that shit. I got to know it. I got to know it. Right? And some of, you, some of you people might think, oh, it's okay to invest in, you know, uh, a new product. How are you going to get in the early stages if you don't? Listen, I understand you want to get into the early stages, buy low, sell high, but why not go study the game? You want to become an investor in stocks, start, study Char Charlie Munger, study Warren Buffett, study the best of the best, the greats. You know, play with fake accounts, with fake money. Learn, practice, practice, do what you got to do. And then when you have some money set up, then you go all into that thing. But a lot of people are not investing into these things because they're studying it. They're investing because their cousin Joey just made 20 grand. Or Uncle Bobby just made some money with NFTs or whatever the fuck it may be. So be careful with the hype that you have around the people that are around you. Because a lot of broke people are going to be around you telling you, oh, shit, I just made 50 grand. And you might feel stupid. You might feel like an idiot, like, damn, this guy just made 50 grand, this guy made 10 grand, this guy made 5 grand, and you got FOMO off your ass. And now guess what? You lose just, just like them. Because usually when everything goes up, everything comes fucking down. Because you made the wrong decision, the wrong investment choice. 
You do not invest properly into understanding the game to then invest properly with your money. So if you work hard for your money, don't be stupid with it. Invest into things. Invest into things that you understand, that you studied, that you know is a high probability and a high possibility of you making money. And when you know it for sure, it's not risky. I learned a long time ago that the more you know about something, the less risky it is. Me investing in the real estate is not risky because I understand I've been studying it for years. I'm not proficient. I'm not a master. I'm not going to do courses on that shit right now. But guess what? I'm learning the game, and I'm investing. I'm making mistakes, learning, blah, blah, blah. Does that make sense? You shouldn't be investing in the business either if you don't understand the business. A lot of you want to invest in business. I want to buy businesses. You don't know shit about that business. Why would you buy a laundromat if you know nothing about laundromats? Did you work in a laundromat? Did you operate a laundromat? Do you understand the business? I understand you want to be fucking, you know, what's that guy's name? Uh, 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 Marcus Lemonis that wants to profit, the profit show. He goes into all these business. Listen, you're not a guru shmuri yet, okay? Until then, you got to figure yourself out. Stop investing in the shit you have no business investing in. The first person you need to invest in is yourself, so study yourself. Become the master of you. And then focus on other investments. By the way, this is all my opinions. This is not financial advice. What else? What other disclaimers, disclaimers are there? Uh, all the disclaimers. We're not giving you no advice here, okay? My opinions, okay? So I appreciate you. I love you guys. If you love this kind of content, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Some short snippets on YouTube to support you guys, to inspire you guys to go kick ass. And we'll see you guys in the next video.